Hey guys, this is Ryan Smith. <clears throat> I'm just here tonight. I uh, wanted to demo another shade I'm working on. Uh, it's uh, exciting to me because it's kind of one of my first uh, demos that actually shows how useful these shaders are in a, a practical sense or uh, uh, actually seeing them in application rather than uh, in theory on just like some random planes and stuff like that. So what we have here is just the uh, I'm using the ambient occlusion uh, from these the geometry I baked out in Max uh, as my diffuse map, just for now. And uh, what we have here is uh, a material that has a full parallax functionality, and it's kind of similar to my brick material in a way where you could paint damage on it, but it's kind of a hybrid between uh, the damage painting on the brick material here and my soft surface to hard surface transitions shader. So what we can do is, is just like the brick, we could come in here and we can paint in uh, damage or uh, entropy or uh, pick your word, whatever. And the parallax map updates perfectly. And that, that height map that's feeding into the parallax map um, that's affected by the the red channel here is what's being fed into the uh, soft surface transitions. So I could come in here and just like in the previous demo that I had, I could paint in sand. I'm just going to lower the strength here uh, a little bit. Uh, we could paint in sand and even use the blue channel to uh, like adjust the fall off and things like that. And it's just that standard model where we can add normal map detail if we want or increase the normal map channel or, or decrease it or whatever. But the cool thing about this is uh, it changes depending on what the damage layer is. So if I start painting over here where there's damage, you'll see that it fills in the cracks of the entropy shader uh, bits. So that height map is, is just really useful because it updates uh, with the sand too. So if I were to come in here and take away the entropy, uh, the sand will will uh, conform to uh, the the height map of the clean or newer tiles. So uh, it's really cool in that sense. So really quick here, I'm just going to go through and uh, add a layer here of damage and sand, and just to show you how easy it is to break up uh, the tiling of of this en environment. All right, so what I like to do first is I, I like to paint the, um, the the damage layer first. So right now, when the red channel is at one, that's when it's in its clean state. And so I'm just going to come in here and take uh, paint away from the red channel and uh, get some just interesting patterns, breaking up the tiling just a little bit. Uh, just kind of getting some irregular shapes and patterns. So it starts to get a little bit hard to see here. So I, I jacked the specular channel up a little bit. So it makes it easier to see what's going on here. So just really simple going through here, breaking things up. And the other cool thing is uh, about this this system is uh, it doesn't matter what you paint which ones you paint first like you can paint the sand and go through and, and dynamically change the dam the entropy part of it and that sand will update accordingly which is really cool and useful you don't have to like redo anything if you want to change the amount of sand so I'll just switch to the green channel and just go at it bring the strength up just a little bit more and just kind of go for a realistic look it's usually probably gonna pile up in the corners more than anything maybe make like some paths cut it off here and there just just get some nice breakups and this probably would be a little bit easier to see on unlit mode Another thing to keep keep an eye on is, is just how natural the transition looks. It's just something really great to have in your arsenal of, of tools. Then we 
could go through the blue channel and give this some fall off, give it a more natural look. I could probably switch back to lit for this. Just really easy. And it's and it's quick too, and it looks it looks decent. Not everything needs to be unique. <clears throat> and it works just as well for this brick shader too. Just easily come in here and just break this tiling up. And it looks completely natural. So yeah, that's the power of these shaders. I hope you guys enjoy the video.